Our verse for today is uh, an important one, and it's not an easy one. It comes from Acts chapter 28, verse 27. And it's actually a quote referring back to Isaiah chapter 6, verses 9 and 10. And Paul is saying this after a group of fellow Jews have come to him. He has now made it to Rome, and he has shared the gospel and interpreted the scriptures, the, what we would call the Old Testament or the Hebrew Bible, and some people are convinced and others are not. And so Paul quotes these words from Isaiah in Acts chapter 28, verse 27. For this people's heart has grown dull, and their ears are hard of hearing, and they have shut their eyes, so that they might not look with their eyes, and listen with their ears, and understand with their heart, and turn. And I would heal them. You know, one of the difficult things in the early years of Christianity was explaining how could people, while Jesus was alive, how could people hear what Jesus said and taught? How could people see what Jesus did and not believe that Jesus was who he claimed to be? And especially among Jesus' first followers, who were Jewish, uh, there was eventually a very strong disagreement between people. And how can you not see that Jesus is who we say he is? And that's a, a thread that runs through the New Testament. And we see it here in the final chapter of Acts as well. And part of how the Jewish believers of Christ came to understand the rejection of their fellow Jewish brothers and sisters, they're not seeing Jesus in the same way that Peter did or John did or Paul did was, well, by looking back at this prophecy from way back in Isaiah's time that sometimes people just can't hear, can't see what God is doing. And that's painful and that's difficult. And even in the time in which we live, uh, there are people who you know, we wonder, how can someone see something and interpret it the way they do or understand it the way they do in a way that is so different from the way that we see it? And this can be challenging, not just for faith, but in many areas of life. And what this calls us to is a real sense of genuine humility. We want to be very respectful of other people who don't reach the same conclusion about Jesus Christ as we reach. But we want to make sure that we keep our eyes open and our ears open and our hearts open to what the Spirit of God may still be doing and what the Spirit is saying to us and to the church even today.